of being negative about things, everyone catches up with you, you say, what next? And, you know, I, I suspect that actually at the margin here, we're not going to have an economy that craters. And therefore, we shouldn't get ourselves into a whirlwind of being too negative. So if we've had a large amount of cash on the sidelines, certainly if the market pulls back aggressively in the coming weeks, we'd be looking to buy back into the market, having sold it earlier, uh, earlier in the year at higher levels. And you probably, uh, no one mentions this, but in terms of safety plays, everyone seems to be barreling into alts at the same time, but I'll, I'll leave that to the side. So if you are going to position in, if we are going to see a sell down, perhaps taking advantage of the fact that you are going to get the blackouts coming through when it does come to the buybacks and perhaps you get a little bit more depressed pricing, what would you be buying? Yeah, I think you've got to still remain relatively defensive for an economy that's going to be in trouble. And clearly the problems in Europe only compound that. So we look for sectors where we think there's still fundamentally good value and where the story for the long term is positive. And that would be buying back into economically sensitive sectors such as energy, where, you know, even today we still have an oil price at $100. And probably into the mining sector, you know, the greening of the world. One of the things that we've forgotten is that the greening of the world requires a lot of commodities and particularly metals. Higher metals prices not discounted by the mining sector at present. Really quickly, Gary, would you be going anywhere near Europe right now, considering all of the pressure that could, is, is coming through now but could potentially come through over the next six months? No, you can't. I mean, I, I get phone calls from people almost crying on the phone to me about energy bills in, in Europe, which are about to go even higher. The consumer there is going to get really badly hurt. And I think it's very difficult for economists to get on top of how damaging that will be to the European economy through the end of the year.